Okay. So there's this guy called Elon Musk. Uh, I don't like him very much. And it's probably not a surprise to people who watch my content. Uh, a couple of days ago, actually, I think about a week ago by now, uh, he tweeted out a couple of things, which uh, basically he was saying, like, uh, in order to end the war in Ukraine, Ukraine must be willing to negotiate and surrender some points. Fantastic stuff. These are screenshots from a Chinese state official, which is why it looks like this. But Ukraine-Russia peace. Redo elections of annexed regions under UN supervision. Russia leaves if that's the will of the people. Crimea formerly a part of Russia as it has been since 1783 until Khrushchev's mistake. Water supply to Crimea assured. Ukraine remains neutral. Uh, and uh, this was obviously very stupid. Uh, Russia should not get to invade, conquer, annex territory, kill, murder, rape civilians. And then like, oh, you get to hold that territory actually. Uh, it, you know, if, you, uh, if there's a vote held in it, you know, that's Ukraine's territory. Now that Russia's losing, they're desperate to make these concessions. Now... Elon Musk has never been shy about inserting his uh, half-baked opinions into issues he knows nothing about. But recently, the claim was made by an Ian Bremer uh, that Elon Musk didn't just come up with these positions. Elon Musk had spoken with Putin uh, right beforehand. That the wealthiest man in the world had had a conversation with the multi-billionaire oligarch and that Elon Musk was essentially just uh, laundering Putin's direct demands, uh, you know, to, to try to normalize them to a Western audience. Now, Elon Musk immediately denied this, said no one should trust Bremer. Uh, uh, you know, who, who, who's to say who's telling the truth? Well, let's take a look. Vice article. The world's richest man spoke directly with Vladimir Putin. Eurasia Group's Ian Bremer reported. Musk denied the report in a tweet. Uh, so, uh, Musk claims he spoke to Putin only once, and that was 18 months ago, and the subject matter was about space. So we'll, uh, we'll see. And then Ian Bremer uh, said that actually, no, uh, they did speak. And uh, that's really all we have. <laughs> that's really all we have. A lot of this is just editorialization on top of uh, a basically he said, he said situation. So with that in mind, I would like to... Uh, Put forward this snippet that came out the other day. Julioff got hold of the newsletter this Musk Bremer controversy is based on. Uh, it's he said. It's he said he said. Oh, oh, it's he said he said. Like how I said. But it certainly seems like Musk is lying. This form, form lofts Puck News newsletter. Forms lofts. I got a hold of the original email that Bremer sent to his clients. In the letter, he said that he spoke to Musk and Aspen, where the latter told him that Putin conveyed in a direct conversation with him that he was prepared to negotiate. The terms were the same ones that Musk laid out in his tweets. Crimea remains Russian. Ukraine accepts a formal status of neutrality. The U.S. et al. recognize Russia's annexations of Donetsk and Luhansk, as well as Kherson for water supply to Crimea, a big issue, and Zaporizhia, so Putin can have a land bridge to Crimea. He reiterated Putin's threat that he would use nuclear weapons if Ukraine tried to take back Crimea, which Musk said we must do the utmost to avoid. So essentially, uh, the, the claim here is that if Musk didn't actually talk to Putin, it is uh, very weird, very, very wacky, actually, um, that he would just off the cuff repeat all of the things that Putin wants. You know, like, it's just kind of strange that that might happen, you know? Now, again, we're not quite at the kicker yet. The kicker is as follows. Somebody pointed this out, and I think it's quite valid. Look at this pointer. Crimea formerly part of Russia as it has been since 1783 until Khrushchev's mistake. Does that sound like something Elon Musk would say or know about? This is a very specific, how would somebody from the West, speaking to Westerners, know or care about an 18th century land allocation and then frame it as Khrushchev's mistake? This is a Putin mistake. This is straight from the horse's mouth. I do not believe for a second that this is not coming directly from Putin right here. He talked to Putin. Putin framed it in this fashion. 
and then he's regurgitating it, except he's too stupid to frame it, uh, you know, as a, hey guys, I'm just another Westerner with interesting opinions on this conflict, just like you, haha. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it repeats the exact same language that Putin used when he referred to the independence of Ukraine as Lenin's mistake. You remember that? What a Westerner would say Khrushchev's mistake? What audience is this meant to appeal to? The only people who would care about framing Crimean's, uh, 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 Crimea's part of, being part of Ukraine as Khrushchev's mistake would be Russians. Um, nobody else would care. So I think it's safe to say, and I'm confident believing this, even if it's ultimately a he said, he said situation, that Elon Musk, uh, wealthiest man in the world, deliberately uh, went up to essentially, you know, an enemy leader, heard his propaganda talking points and made an effort to rehabilitate them and regurgitate them for our sake. This is some deeply cynical bullshit right here. This is some deeply fucked up behavior, you know? like. It, it, beyond the fact that Elon Musk is already like a piece of shit and a dumbass, obviously, we already know that, but this like, oh yeah, Putin, like give me your talking points so that I can just launder them for my enormous audience. In exchange for what? Elon Musk is a wealthy guy. Do you think that he wouldn't potentially benefit from some preferential business dealings or holdings in Russia should the conflict end? Right now, the Russian economy is in the shitter, which means that they're going to be relying on foreign investment to pick their economy back up after the conflict is over and the sanctions are done with. Huh? Do you know that this is wrong? I don't. It seems perfectly plausible to me. You know, it's not like Russia is a democracy. It's not transparent, you know. Uh, Elon could literally just make deals with the guy in charge. Now, some people have said this is treason. It is literally not, unfortunately. It, for a variety of reasons, it's not. As a private citizen, you are fully allowed to meet with foreign leaders and talk with them and say stuff they happen to agree with. That's not illegal. No legal consequences will be brought about from this. But, man. Socialism or barbarism, huh? That's some grim shit. Everyone's uh, soy facing over the IRL, um, you know, Tony Stark, while he's just going over to fascist leaders and being like, um, oh, yeah, you know, presumably, oh, yeah, you know, like uh, preferential business dealings, and I'll help you, you know, not lose the war where you're trying to conquer, rape, and annex parts of Ukraine. Also, apparently, Elon Musk has disabled Starlink in some areas to prevent or at least inhibit uh the reclamation of crimea oh yeah here we go elon's uh, from one hour ago elon seems to have officially recognized crimea uh, donetsk and luhansk republics as russian by blocking ukraine's access to starlink in those regions you definitely saved the world from nuclear war now champ and uh is this treason nope uh it is not treason um yeah you can see it's crimea down here and there's the sort of portions of uh, the the Donbass. Yeah, just a, uh, it's just business. How is this not treason? It's not treason. Just a private individual with enough power and resources to single-handedly deny uh, or grant uh, internet coverage and therefore logistical ability uh, to uh, defending military at his leisure. Vosh, does chat realize the U.S. isn't at war with Russia? I don't think they do. We're not at war, therefore treason isn't even applicable. If we were at war with Russia, there might be something to talk about here, but we're not. Uh, and for that reason, he can do whatever he wants. Do I not already suck done left? Yeah. So anyway, he's chosen his side. According to Elon Musk, uh, the guy who uh, met with Putin and presumably regurgitated his talking points, he is, uh, he's decided Ukraine does not include the Donbass or Crimea. And what am I to say about this? I guess this is sort of a nail in the coffin for the idea of charity or all the people who are giving Elon Musk credit for deploying Starlink to begin with. And now it's like, oh yeah, well, he's literally just deciding for the Ukrainian military. Like you can't go past that point. I don't think it's actually going to stop Ukraine from taking back their territory, but Elon got U.S. government funding for Starlink. 
unless he specifically broke a part of the contract. And even if he did, that's contract law, not treason. Starlink? Yeah, we just saw this. This really sounds like Putin has something on Musk. No, I just think Musk is a businessman. He doesn't care. You really think this guy gives a shit if like people in Ukraine are killed and raped? You really think he cares at all? What about you has given what about him has given you the impression that he has even a single shred of interest in the well-being of other people? Um That's it. He got his uh his time in the starlight with the Starlink stuff. Now he's pulling it back. He's gotten his starlight. Uh, he's laundering Putin's concerns and framing it as the independent and, uh, you know, well-intentioned personal positions he has. And soon he'll control Twitter.